Hey, what's up guys? Do you want to lose some weight? That's good. That's what I'm here for. A little helping hand. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't forget to click that little bell so you get a notification every time I upload a video. Okay, what today's video is going to be about is how I started my journey and hopefully help you guys sort of come up with a plan on how to start your own journey. Um, a lot of people spend so much time saying, I need to lose weight, I need to lose weight, I need to lose weight. It's the same old story every couple of months. They're like, right, that's it, I need to I need to start, I need to really sort of do something about it. So the main advice in terms of losing weight is start. Just start. Don't say, I'm going to start on Monday. Don't say, I'm going to start on the first of the month. Just start. Start there and then. If you decide that you want to lose weight, just start there and then. It doesn't matter if you've already had your breakfast, you've already had your lunch. Just say, right, I'm going to start. I need to do this. So for dinner, I'm going to have something healthy. So that's the best thing to do is just start. That is the most important thing. Um, and don't be too hard on yourself if you fail. Um, failure is a part of part of life. It's part part of everything. You learn through failing. Um, so say you've been eating clean for three weeks, a month, and then one day you have a bad day and you go and eat a full pizza to yourself or a tub of ice cream. Don't be too hard on yourself. All you have to do is say, well, tomorrow's a new day, so I'll start tomorrow. That's the good thing about a weight loss journey. Every day is a new day to improve yourself. So give yourself a break. Allow yourself that day where you weren't feeling too good or it was a celebration. It was a it was a, a birthday. But just say to yourself, OK, I've had that day. So my journey starts again today. Don't give up. Don't just think, oh, well, I've had one bad day. So that's it. My diet's out the window. So I might as well just give up. That's the mentality that's going to stop you from getting to where you want to be. Now, as I've said before, losing weight isn't all about chicken and rice, chicken and vegetables three times a day. Uh, for example, for me, breakfast is porridge. It's not the best tasting thing in the world, but you can get zero calorie syrups, which you can put in and it will make it taste a hell of a lot better. Uh, I also have one scoop of protein powder and I have a black coffee. So that is my breakfast. That sets me up for the day. The good thing about porridge is it's slow release and energy. So that's going to see you through to lunchtime. And lunchtime for me is chicken and vegetables. Um, I like to restrict my carbs halfway through the day. Get a nice uh, portion of protein in. Um, and the, th the, thing to, the thing to remember, obviously, fruit in moderation is good for you. But you don't necessarily have to get all those nutrients that they say fruit is good for from fruit. For example, broccoli by weight has more vitamin C than an orange. So if you're worried about getting your vitamins, things like broccoli and leafy greens, perfect. Uh, they've got all the antioxidants and all the vitamins that you need. So then for dinner, sometimes we'll have sort of chicken with something, but we have healthy bolognese, healthy shepherd's pie, healthy chili con carne, um, healthy stir fries so you can mix things up and get a bit of flavor in um, it doesn't always have to be boring it doesn't always have to be chicken and rice so just keep that in mind the the key thing is to keep mixing it up so you don't get bored so you're not thinking oh god i, I could really do with some uh something that's tasty and, and unhealthy if what you're having is tasty in the first place so to start with weight loss is about motivation. That's what it comes down to. You have to be motivated to do it. You have to have a reason to do it. Um, the stronger the reason, the more resolve you're gonna to have to stick with it. If it's something really important to you, like for me, um, so we could have our son, which was very important, and now to be the kind of father that he deserves, that's also really important. Um, so for you, it might be health related. So say you've been told by the doctor, that you've got high cholesterol or you should really lose some weight, then that should be motivation to 
sort of get that going. Because at the end of the day, you want to live your life to the fullest. You can't really do that if, say, by the time you're 50, you've got heart disease and you're overweight and you're struggling to do this and that. If you want to be able to live your life to the fullest, you need to be as healthy as you can possibly be. So motivation is the most important thing starting off. Um, secondly, it's kind of, in a way, it's habit forming. So if you stick with something for a certain amount of time, it kind of becomes a habit. It That becomes the new norm. So the norm for you might be sort of eating takeaways and sort of having whatever you want and the treats and stuff. But if you eat healthily for, say, a month, give yourself give your brain that time to process that as what is normal, then it becomes a, so much easier. When It becomes sort of um, second nature. So you've got to give yourself that time. You, you can't just sort of give it two weeks and think, oh, this isn't working, I haven't lost any weight, etc. Give your body time to adjust to what you're doing. It's the most important thing. Like I've said before, give yourself a break. Just allow yourself to ease into it as well. So maybe it's impossible for you to just go straight off, cut everything off and go straight healthy. Maybe what you should do is introduce healthier things a piece at a time. So the number one thing that I did and I would recommend to everyone is I don't drink my calories. None of my, my calories come from drinking. So like full fat sodas, um milky coffees like lattes and cappuccinos um sugary energy drinks so what i take my liquids from are water uh and black coffee and the only calories that i do take from liquids are from a protein shake but that's for the purpose of extra protein so the reason i say this is because why drink 500 600 calories of of fizzy juice or whatever it is a day when that those calories could be spent on food so if you've got yourself a 2000 calorie allowance and you're drinking 500 calories of that then it's you've got 1500 calories left for food which inevitably you're going to go over because if that's only 500 calories per meal so you're not leaving yourself much to play with so cut out caloric liquids just stick to water diet sodas no sugar sodas and nowadays like things with pepsi max um they don't taste any different to the full fat pepsi so i mean when i most of the time i drink water but sort of in an evening with my dinner maybe I'd, i like to have like a glass of um cherry pepsi max it's it's sweet it's tasty it sort of takes the edge off if you're feeling like you a bit of a sweet tooth or whatever. So, yeah, that's probably one of the biggest tips that I can give you. Um, and then it's things like if you eat a lot of crisps, go for a lower fat version. But don't be conned by crisps that say they're lower fat. Always make sure that the portion size, because a general portion of crisps is probably 25 grams. So check what the calories are per 25 grams, because you might be surprised at what they are i'd say keep it sort of for a 25 gram portion maybe 90 to 100 calories but then you can always swap it for um sort of the rice cake salt and vinegar snacker jack is like 45 calories so you could have one just have one of them if you're feeling a bit peckish and you've only used 45 calories um and then it's just making healthier options it's if you have sugary cereal, swap it for the non-sugary version, like like Frosties to cornflakes, that kind of thing. And like I said, porridge is literally probably the best breakfast you can have. That is the best way to start your day. Those slow releasing energy that will get you through to a lunchtime. And um, I don't necessarily always agree with the Slim and Wild diet, but one thing that I think is a brilliant idea is their overnight oats. So it's oats, some fruit, and some yogurt. That's a perfect breakfast. You're getting you you're getting your fruit allowance, bit of yogurt, which is like probiotic, 
and plus you've got your oats in there for your slow release energy. So that's a perfect example of sort of a well-rounded breakfast that's going to see you through to lunchtime. Um, snacking is also very important. I don't snack between meals. I eat three meals a day and that's it. No snacks. Um, but that's not always easy for everyone. So it's just restricting your snacks to maybe 100 calories. So say you have two snacks a day, one between breakfast and lunch, one between lunch and dinner. If you restrict them to 200 calories, that's not too bad. And it's going to, at the end of the day, it's going to give you a better or uh, overall sort of calorie, ca calorie deficit. Um, at the end of the day, losing weight is a simple mathematic equation. It's calories in versus calories out. Um, that is all it comes down to. So say you eat 2000 calories and your allowance for the day, your recommended allowance for the day is 2000. You're going to maintain weight. So say your recommended allowance is 2000 and you take on 1800, then over time you will lose weight. Doesn't matter what exercise you're doing, over time you will lose weight. So then when you add exercise onto that, um, say you go and do a decent weight, weight session. My weight session is normally a couple of hours. It good bit, burns a good lot of calories. So then that's, if you stick to your normal, if you still take on 1800 calories and then you do a workout, so that sort of knocks off from your calorie total. So say you've maybe only taken on 1300 calories because you've still eaten your 1800 calories, but you've burnt that much off with your exercise. So that's another point to think about. Um, it's just balancing it up, but it is literally, that's as easy as it is. If your allowance is 2000, take on 1800, you're going to lose weight. It might not be sort of overnight, over weeks, but it will come off slowly. Um, but obviously there are things you can do to speed it up, like exercise. Um, cardio is good for initial fat burn. Weights are sort of, um, I feel, better for a longer period of fat burn because your body's working overtime to repair the muscles that you've broken down. So those are all things to think about. So basically, guys, the answer to the question, how did I lose over 100 pounds? I ate less calories than I was burning off. Um, and I got into a fitness regime, started lifting weights. So there you go. It's simple. It is that simple. Um, there's no secret tr tricks or tips. There's no special diet. Um, there's no, you know, Weight Watchers, Slim and World, Cambridge diet. There's no... Um, I'm not selling any sort of training program. I don't claim to be an expert. All I can speak from is my own experience. So that's all I done. That was all I did to lose over a hundred pounds over a two year period. I ate less calories than my recommended daily amount. And I worked out three, four, five times a week. So there you go. It's simple. So take that with you. Have a think about it. Um, if you have any questions for me, leave some uh, comments down the bottom. Um, I'll do my best to reply to them. And also, just stick around for the second half of the video. Got a quick shoulder workout, just take you through a few things. Um, wasn't the best. Uh, it was it was a quick session. Um, shoulders are my weakest point, but, you know, I'm going to work on that and uh, keep pushing forward. Um, there'll be more videos to come in terms of workout videos, so keep your eyes peeled for those.
Oh, my God.